Hi, welcome back to the kitchen. We're going to do a little canning today. We did a lot of cutting yesterday. If you're interested in watching me cut cucumbers and zucchini, go to Zucchini Relish or Zucchini Spears. Today we're going to make zucchini slabs. We're going to make bread and butter pickles. We're going to make cucumber relish. We're going to make another batch of zucchini relish. All right, so we're going to do three different kind of canning. One we're going to do cooked, which is our zucchini relish, which we'll be cooking in a brine. The second is going to be making a syrup, adding to the vegetables, and then putting the vegetables into the jars. The third is a cold pack where we make the syrup, we pack the jars, and then we add the syrup to it. So right now, we're sterilizing the jars, but the one thing that I found when you're doing a hot water bath, the main thing is the sugar and the vinegar. All the rest of the ingredients are more or less to flavor. One thing that I found that really drives me crazy is they'll say large this, four of medium this, but they won't give you actual measurements except for the vinegar and sugar. You want to use recipes that are tried and true and that are safe. I've been using the zucchini relish now and I'm basing all my measurements off of that. I'm also using the Big Easy Chef. I like his stuff. I'll have the relish recipe in the description box below. Now when he was preparing his vegetables, he used 30 large cucumbers, five large red peppers, three medium onions. I mixed mine up to the same measurements that I use for the zucchini relish. So I know it's gonna make about five pints. His syrup is for 26 half pints. So I'm gonna cut this syrup in about a half and you'll see why in a little bit. For the sweet pickle relish recipe, he calls for 10 cups of sugar. You don't have to write this down, it'll be in the description box, along with directions. All right, we've already cut, salted, had in the refrigerator overnight, and rinsed off our vegetables, our cucumbers, our onions, and our peppers. This recipe, it's a relish. Now, the way the Big Easy Chef says, you take the syrup and you ladle it in here until you get it soupy, but not too soupy. How's that for a direction for you? I know we have enough for five pints of vegetables, so I cut his recipe in half. Then we just add a little bit at a time to our vegetables. Since these are chunky, I'm gonna make it just a little soupier. Yeah, this is starting to float, so it's soupy enough. Okay, so this is gonna take about five pints we want to have some, we want to have enough juice, we want to have enough vegetables. Remember about two cups per pint. Don't want to overfill to begin with. We'll have enough to come back and fill up and top these off. One good cup, a bunch of juice, a bunch of vegetables. About three quarters of a cup. Remember, we want to have head space, which is about to the bottom of the ceiling ring, so that it can expand and let the air out of the jar. Now, the jars you got a little more vegetables, a little less juice. Put juice in the jars you got a little more juice, a little less vegetables. You know, vice versa. You want to make sure. Definitely want to make sure you wipe off the rims all the way around. Want to get a nice tight seal. Put our lids on. And this is just finger tight. I mean, this really is. You don't want it any tighter than that. And what happens, as this gets hot, it expands, and it'll shove the air out between the seal and the top of the rim. And then as it cools down, it'll suck that rim right down onto that glass. And this little indentation will pop in, and you'll have a good seal. Now, if you crank it down too hard, the air will not be able to get out. Turn this down. Let's 
So our zucchini has also been chopped, salted, put in the refrigerator overnight. It's been rinsed off and it's ready to go into the boiling brine. Once these are hand tight, you your five jars in your bath. With at least an inch or so above it in the boiling water. And we'll let that process for 10 minutes. While that's cooking for 10 minutes, let me change out my towels and I'll be back. Turn the heat down on that so we can get these out. For a zucchini relish. We'll pull this forward off of the heat. It's going to be quite warm as we're doing this. A pint is two cups. Put the first cup in for each one. And does anybody remember why we put the paper towel down? Because turmeric is will stain everything. So you gotta be careful with the turmeric where you're splashing this stuff. I would hate to stain something and get in trouble. We wanted to divvy this up, make sure we had enough for all five, and it appears we're going to. What's the next step? That's right, a clean paper towel with a little bit of water on it. Got to get the rim. tank. That's the first jar sealing. You want to hear that little sound. All right, well this method of canning, you put a boiling solution into these jars so they are hot. You still only want to do a pan tight. Got a rack loaded. Back in, got about an inch or two above that space, kick that back up to high. It's almost boiling. As soon as it starts, we'll kick on that timer and we'll be back in about 10 minutes. It's amazing how fast 10 minutes goes by when you're rinsing vegetables. One of the things we talked about was how the size of a vegetable doesn't necessarily translate into a measurement. So what we've cut up, we're going to put in these jars. Once we pack these jars with our vegetables, we're going to fill them with syrup. How much? You have to fill them with syrup once you get them packed in here. You can't pack them in so tight no syrup fits, but you don't want them so loose that they're just all floating around. The big easy chef was using 30 cucumbers. I don't think I used the equivalent of 30 cucumbers we'll find out. We're going to start off with a half of his recipe for the syrup. You can always make more. Having a lot extra is a waste. So we'll start off with half. And that's seven and a half cups of sugar. Now these are just like the spears, except they're wedges. They're just a little thicker, a little bigger. Sometimes you gotta anchor for a slice. Go ahead and put in several. Put in a couple. Oh, put in a couple peppers for color. 
You want to go ahead and get these slid in there pretty tight, but not too tight. We've got quite a little bit of onion and pepper left. Go ahead and put in the last jar we had prepared. Process that the same. This is my sandwich mix. My wife doesn't like the onions so much, but my little secret, whenever I have anything left over, try to process that. It's not going to be a full jar, but that won't matter. I'm only going to put syrup up to the vegetable line. I'll process this. We'll open this one right away. All right, now here's a trick when you're doing this. Do not put too much syrup in at once, because it's going to have to work its way down through here. And you can just fill up your funnel and pour it right over the side. So you just add a little bit at a time. Let it settle down in there. I use a half cup measuring. And I'll add it as it's going down. If it's going down nice like this, we'll keep adding. into that until we do this next step. Now, you can use a chopstick. They make special tools, but I find a nice clean butter knife works really well. Just go down the sides. And you're making sure you got all the little air pockets out so when you process, the, the syrup is all around all of your vegetables. See, there's a bubble there that comes up. You just want to make sure that your syrup is down in all your little nicks and crannies. It's going to get hot and it's going to bubble, but you don't want to start with the air down inside. That's going to be awesome. Look at those onions. All right, now that you let the air that sink in a little bit, you're going to add just a little bit more. We don't want we want to leave about a want to leave about a half an inch of head space. But sometimes there's enough bubbles in there it allows the syrup to settle quite a little bit. All right, now that we're happy with that, we'll take the rest of the syrup. Now this is just a fun one. This is just going to be mine. I'm going to open it up immediately. And there's going to be a little more mustard seed in this because the mustard seed tends to settle as you're doing this. But this way, I told you, we're not going to waste any of the syrup. in the canner. The battery's just about to die, so we'll be back in 10 minutes. We'll be back in 10 minutes. And that looks like 22 pints and four quarts. It was a nice evening. <laughs> 